If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be my third slash last vlog for the month of August concerning my reading challenge of attempting to continue and or finish as many series as possible because one of my reading goals this year is to try and attempt to finish 10 because last year I finished like one when I started like 20 something. <laughs> Not good. Listen, I am so good at starting them, but very bad at finishing them. I get overwhelmed and sometimes I just don't want them to finish. So this is the third week, like I said, at this point, uh, I'll link down below, by the way, the other ones if you're interested. Um, but at this point, I am now at five completed series and then two that I've read the second book and I'm not planning on continuing. So like seven, I didn't mention that that would count, which I would prefer not needing to count them, but it looks like I will need to count them before the end of the year. So last week I picked up the next book that I will have to read this week. Um, I went to look at it in a pile because you're seeing the chaos. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We'll talk about this later. Uh, it's overwhelming, but I picked up the last book in the first La Trilogy by Joe Bercrombie. This is Last Argument of Kings, which I've heard fantastic reviews about. It is chunky, like chunky, like almost 700 pages. Like, yeah, like 6.95. It's a big boy. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading it. Book one was a five stars for me. Book two was a three stars. I felt like it was like middle book syndrome for me. Uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna go back to at least a four, maybe a five, that would be great. But no matter what, if I finish it, I finished into this series, which would be really great for my challenge. So yes, I, crossing my fingers, hopefully everything goes well. And yeah, I'll update you throughout the week. I'm feeling a bit of pressure to finish it ASAP because I'm waiting for Babel. And as soon as it's arriving, I, I will be picking this up. Well, I mean, I will finish this no matter what, but afterwards, this for sure. I will definitely vlog that because I'm, I think this book is gonna be an all-time favorite or of the year, five stars. So. But this one first, hopefully it picks up. First update on Last Argument of Kings. I always want to say the last argument. Anyway, um, I never know how to feel about Giselle. Um, part of me pities him because he's being dragged into all these adventures. Uh, part of me thinks he's a F boy and not really a good person. And I still think that Glockta has the most interesting point of view. I don't think he's a good person. I feel like sometimes people are like, why do you like him? Because he's interesting. He's very gray or dark gray <laughs> as a character morally. And I do like Logan, but I don't care about any other Norman still. I feel like nothing has changed since book one. Um, I also don't really know how I feel about, um, what's the name of the... Magician Bazaar, ba 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 I can't remember. Anyway, you know which one, the ball man, which in my head looks like Gandalf. Every time they remind me that he's bald, I'm like, oh, is he? Um, so yeah, I don't know, not much has happened so far, but we'll see. So I wanted to address something because I've been getting questions about why am I, I'm always filming in this setting for my vlogs. And I agree that my vlogs would be more interesting if I switched it up, which I am planning to, but there is a simple but long explanations and I've kind of just been never addressing it. So we're doing that today. Long story short, not really. Um, I bought this house almost three years ago. It's going to be the case at the end of the year. So I, at the time, just saw this house for sale, which I, I've always liked actually looking at houses for sale. And I came to visit it because it was a private sale for a really good price. And I was able to meet the owner. We chit chatted, bonded over the fact that she was a French teacher. I told her about BookTube. So it was great. And she ended up having multiple offers, but she chose me because she bought the house as a single woman and she wanted to give me the same opportunity, which I'm so grateful for because frankly, I wouldn't be able to afford this house now because the housing market has been absolutely insane the last three years. Like houses here have been like doubling in prices. Like I wouldn't be able to pay that. And, um, but at the time I wasn't planning on buying a house. So I had to rush, get my money together, get approved for a mortgage. And I was also living with someone at the time. So I had to break up uh, with that person and then move. So that's why I just kind of just never addressed it because yeah, it was a lot at the same time. And then the panini happened. And then I started dealing with really bad health issues, which Things are looking better and better. Uh, for anyone that's here, very long story short, um, I had a bad reaction come up to my copper IUD. Doctors would not see me because Panini, and I had to threaten I was going to rip it off for them to finally see me, removed it, 
and I had developed a an ovarian cyst and it's pressing on some nerves. So it was causing pain. I'm still waiting for surgery, but I'm feeling better. And I had also developed insulin resistance, which I've also gotten things together. I stopped losing my hair and breaking out and I don't need to nap every time I eat. So um, that's the last two years of my health in 30 seconds. But yes, there was just so much going on that I never got a chance to turn this house into a home. And I mentioned, I think it was in June, I posted my first video about uh, me transforming my bedroom into a library, which is like the first step into doing that. And um, that's why right now there's nothing in my living room anymore because I'm in the middle of this. I'm doing weekly updates on Patreon for anyone that is curious, but I will be showing you like before after uh, when I'm done with the room and um, this one I'll specifically do like a reorganizing my bookshelf. So we have that to look forward to. But yes, there's a reason that you never saw anything because this house was completely empty for a while. Like if you look back my videos, I was filming on my reading chair. That was the only thing, this in the bookshelf in this room. I had no table, no chair. I was eating on the island and there were boxes everywhere because <laughs> it's just pure chaos for months and months and months. And you know what? L let me show you, let me show you. This is what used to be my bedroom. <laughs> now I have seven bookshelves, which is great, an improvement going from four to seven, uh, but it's super messy. I have a bunch of boxes because I just brought all my books upstairs. So <laughs> yeah, this whole room is just messy because of that. And then my bedroom, this is what is becoming my bedroom and <laughs> you can see it is just full of books full of books and <laughs> prepare yourself <laughs> i have trash bags in my windows because uh heat wave straight up a heat wave and um i needed to block the windows i had like bamboo things that were not covering anything and i sold them i sold also my two dressers so i have currently a bunch of boxes for my clothes because I mean, wh whatever doesn't fit on a hanger. It's just in boxes. <laughs> chaos, like I said, pure chaos. But I might film in front of these for a video or two until I finish the bookshelves. So that's why I haven't been filming anywhere else but here because I feel like every room was just empty with boxes. <laughs> But give me like a year, a year and a half, and we're gonna go through every room one by one and turning my house into a home. That's basically the goal here. Uh, I mean, it won't take a year for me to start vlogging other places, but uh, that's that's the whole reasoning. I've been getting questions, so I thought I would address it. And uh, yes, the first step is the library, then it's gonna be my bedroom, and the third bedroom is gonna be uh, changed into the beauty room. So basically I will start posting beauty videos again, which I've also been getting questions about. So hopefully before the end of the year, but yeah, that's that's the reason. <laughs> Chaotic life at the moment. Okay, so quick update. I'm at page 300. I think I'm gonna force myself to read 100 pages a day just so I can get to the end because I'm not really feeling it. I'm, I'm super disappointed because I thought this was going to be like a favorite. Um, no, it's like a three stars so far. Like it's not bad enough for me to stop, but I'm not really interested in any storyline really. Um, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but just <laughs> the situation keeps getting more and more intense. I want to pity him, but I really don't. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll update you, but I don't think it's going to be a favorite. I'm 500 pages into the book. These updates are, these are just not <laughs> the way I thought they were going to be. Um, I was really excited to finish this trilogy and I'm feeling very mad about it. Uh, things have picked up a little bit. But I feel like it's just making it more clear that nothing is answered. Nothing is answered. And I went back to look because this is a trilogy. But then on Goodreads, it says that it's six books. So I'm assuming it's like a continuation. But like, am I still finishing a series? I'm counting it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm counting it as finished. Um, but my library doesn't even have the fourth one. So I don't know what I'm going to do because so far it's a three, 3.5, depending on how it ends. I feel like there are too many things that are unanswered. Like the magic system is really not explained like at all. And that's exactly what I said after the first book. I wanted more answers about the magic system, but it was the first book. So I was like, that's fine. I'm, I'm still feeling the same after three books and that's 700 pages. Like I'm reading a lot to get no answers. So yeah, I want more about the magic system, more about how like the Blade Nine works to keep it vague uh but yeah i don't know i don't know good morning i wanted to update you on the book i finished this um 
you can probably already tell from my face. <laughs> this isn't going to be a favorite. I'm kind of disappointed. I feel like my review of book one was that I think I gave it 4.5 because I could tell there was a ton of potential. I enjoyed the characters. Um, they're all Molly Gray and they definitely are throughout the whole series, which is enjoyable. Uh, there was a lack of interesting female character, but it was like it's the first book. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's better that there's none than badly written ones. Um, I still don't think the female characters were great, but the male characters were interesting. I'll give it that. The only thing is that after three books, I still feel like it's a prologue. That was my complaint about book one. Um, I still feel like it's a prologue. And yes, uh, less little clip that you saw, I had just found out that there are six books, but it was meant as a trilogy, I'm pretty sure, and I'm counting it as a trilogy. I don't care. Because um, <laughs> this was a challenge. Like, I forced myself to read 100 pages a day, and that doesn't sound really good, but it wasn't like torture or anything. Like, it reads, the writing flows, but I caught myself a couple times trying to like read in diagonal, which is not, it's never a good sign when that happens. And... Yeah, I just, it just wasn't for me. I'm, I'm sad because I've heard so many great things about the author. And again, I've read the whole trilogy, so I really, really tried. Uh, unfortunately, not a good match. Uh, if book four was available at one of the two libraries I have a library card for, I would look into uh, getting it eventually, but none of them has it. So unless I find it at used bookstore, I'm not gonna rush to continue. Uh, let me know if you know if you love the author if i absolutely should or like does it get better because i'm not i don't know not really a good thing let me just double check if i had any notes on my phone because i have nothing else to say i'm gonna keep this vague to keep this spoiler free uh but giselle is such a doo-doo head N not surprising but he's such a doo-doo head uh, the last hundred pages were definitely full of stuff a lot more than the rest of the series but again, it wasn't enough to compensate for everything else. But it was still interesting to follow a bunch of morally gray characters. Yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on uh, the series. It's 3, 3.5. I'm not, I'm not happy with it. I'm disappointed. Uh, but for the whole thing of the challenge, the point was to finish series or decide not to. So I believe I am now at 8 finish or will not continue after reading the second book. Um, I have been reading your comments though on uh, the Red Rising series and from what I've read from you, um, you kept it vague for the spoilers which I appreciate but I've been told that some of the stuff that I didn't like in book two happens again in book three so I think I'm giving up on the series too and I feel like when I ended the vlog I was like a little bit on the high and I was like oh I might run it up to a four. I might not, <laughs> I might not because there are too many things that bugged me and just because the ending is good, it's not enough to compensate. So I'm probably gonna round it down to a three, but it might be a 3.5. So yeah, now if I don't continue the other one, then I'm at nine. So I feel like the, the whole challenge was very successful. Uh, it just wasn't super satisfying because a lot of these don't end up becoming favorites or aren't favorites. With that said, maybe that is the reason I didn't feel the rush to continue. I feel like that might have played into it, but it is what it is. Successful challenge, another week. Uh, I technically would have like another day or two to continue trying to read something else, but frankly, um, I don't want to because I'm gonna be starting Babel. Um, <laughs> I think this is a good excuse. I mean, it already feels like fall on social media, not so much in person, although it's like only 21 today Celsius, which is, nice and cool um ish i i want to start this one i'm so excited to read this one so that's it for this vlog somewhat successful i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up subscribe i will be putting more videos on the screen that i recommend you check out and i will see you in a quick video very soon bye